Hi guys, Football Manager YouthDevelopment.co.uk here. This is Football Manager 2015. The beta was released today, and as you can see here, I've started my first save file. In this particular save file, I'm going to be Oxford. Just a little bit of a background story of why, I did, why I've decided to go for Oxford. I'm uh, currently living in Oxford at the moment. Um, I know that their stadium is quite decent. They're quite a kind of big team, really, for League Two, and I think that they certainly have got potential to do quite well. Um, you know, with their fan base and things like that. So, I think Oxford would be quite a good challenge for me. They they should be good enough for like League Two. Um, hopefully, I can try and get them promoted in the first season. But then, then kind of like moving forward, it's certainly going to be quite a big challenge. Just kind of moving them up through the league. So, yeah, decided to go for Oxford on my first challenge. Um, just having a look around Football Manager 15 in general, I, I quite like the layout actually. Um, when I was having a look around, everything seems really, really easy to sort of like navigate around. I do actually quite like the um, kind of amount of things you can see here. It's quite annoying before, um, you know, on Football Manager 14 where you had to kind of click up here, go go across, select which team you want to have a look at, etc, etc. Everything just seems to be kind of like one click away, which is excellent. So you can see all your friendlies, all your squad. Um, things like that, training, scouting, transfers, um, have a look at everything like this, which is that, which is actually really handy. Um, just had a look here at my, well, this is the first glimpse I've actually had of the finances. I just see I've got £390 uh, available budget, which is going to be quite tricky, um, I would have thought. So, um, yeah, what I'll do in this first episode, guys, we'll just have a real quick look at some of the players. And, yeah, we'll just have a quick look at their attributes. So... Obviously, we are in League 2, so I'm not expecting any kind of gems or any sort of thing fantastic. Obviously, if you um, are already a, sus a uh, subscriber of my channel, you'll know that I was, you know, my Football Manager 2014 so far that I had with uh, Barnsley. I think at the moment I've got about seven or eight Wonder Kids, so I've been quite used to looking at um, players with really, really good attributes um, and things like this. So, yeah, it's going to be quite a challenge, but... I think that's what I kind of need on Football Manager. I'm, I am actually kind of a fan of non-league football, so it's going to be really, really good for me to, uh, yeah, you know, kind of go down the leagues sort of again. And I, I like the kind of whole, uh, you know, building a team from a lower league and just sort of building them into something quite powerful and, uh, you know, you know, improving the club as much as possible. So, yeah, some of the kids look quite good. I quite like the look of this guy. Um, he looks quite good for League 2. Danny Rose, he doesn't look too bad, 26, another 22 year old, so the squad looks relatively young at the moment, which I'm quite pleased about. Alfie Potter, he's a right midfielder, again doesn't look too bad, he's got really really good flair, which is always an um, attribute that I really like in my players, so that's very very good. Um, so yeah, going through, it's um, quite a young team, obviously nothing special, which obviously I completely expected that. Um, and yeah, so I was wondering who who are you guys going to be playing with on Football Manager? Have you got uh, many ideas at the moment? Um, did actually take me a little bit of a while to pick Oxford, I must admit, as a team. I'm glad to see, um, just having a real quick look at their balance. They've got half a million in the bank, which is very, very good. Although their projected balance at the end of the season is minus 3.5 million. So hopefully we can try and offset that by possibly having a bit of a run in the FA Cup. Or something like this. Obviously, in terms of like salaries, we're right on top of our budget here. So, yeah, unfortunately, we potentially might have to sell some players if we want to kind of look to bring other players in. That's something I'm going to have to have a real good look at. Obviously, I can see here that in their first team, just rated at the moment, we're spending about eight grand a week on first team players and yeah, lots and lots of backup players, which is not too good. I'm going to have to have a review of that. Um, ideally, you'd think that they you know, would have at least a couple of key players, um, you know, good chunk of first team players and a nice, you know, fair amount of rotation players as well. It's good to see they got a few players that are rated as hot prospects as well from the beginning. I, I'm going to definitely have a look at these players and just see what I kind of think of them. And yeah, if I can kind of try and develop some players, that's going to be a way for us to make money in the beginning. We're going to have to develop players, bring players in at a really, really kind of good age kind of develop them as much as possible and then we can try and look to sell them on for a profit um i'll just have a look at other things around so yeah all the team report looks pretty good there's these um kind of help things at the beginning if, if you're quite used to football manager i when i started the game i decided to 
and put the tools and tips on just for them showing me things that are new on Football Manager. But um, on hindsight, I probably should have just found it all myself. Um, so yeah, they're quite annoying actually. Um, so I'll just keep clicking off these things as and when I find them. Um, yeah, I was saying the squad's quite young actually. So we're, yeah, average age of 25 years old, which is really, really good. Um, yeah, so quite looking forward to this challenge, guys. Um, should be quite a good one. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to... Uh, I just wanted to kind of get a Football Manager 15 video up just to let you guys know what team I was going to be playing with. Um, going to have a play around with a, you know, <laughs> the game basically and just have a look, see where I can see where I can improve my squad. Um, and yeah, if you're kind of interested in keeping up to date with this save file, then please do hit that subscribe button. I will be updating this one a lot. Um, and as I'm going through, what I'm going to be doing is giving you guys some um, sort of tips and things like that on Football Manager just in general. I've been playing Football Manager since about 97 I think it is now so uh, yeah long old <laughs> long old time. Um, I've probably spent way too much of my life playing Football Manager but uh, yeah I do, do know a lot about the game and um, yeah what I want to do with my channel in particular is just kind of teach other people um, sort of things that I've picked up on the way and hopefully, hopefully that's something I can do um, and yeah, if you do subscribe to my channel, that's something that hopefully you'll see um, kind of going forward. But yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys, anyway. And um, yeah, I'll be back very, very soon for some more Football Manager 2015 episodes.